Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a Walmart wax haul and a couple other little goodies in here. And hope everyone's been doing well. Staying warm. It's cold. And um, today, it was a nice day. It was a nice, full, sunny day, but there was that chill out there. And uh, I'd say it was probably late afternoon. Hubby said, you want to go to a Walmart and take a ride? And I said, I don't care. So we went for a ride. And then we stopped at the Buckhorn Walmart. And that's where I got these things. And um, Hubby got some stuff, but... It's all car related, you know, cleaner business and everything. He got it for the car. He's going to clean the car off down in the basement and um, vacuum, polish it up a little bit with, you know, that armor all business and la la la. So anyway, in no particular order, I'm going to show you what I got from Walmart. Okay, first of all, we're going to start off with <clears throat> another box of tea lights. With all the wax I'm melting, I needed to buy another 100 pack. Um, my second one that I bought, because this is my third now. Uh, my second one is three quarters of the way gone. So, this is my third box in a row of the 100. This is from the Amari brand that makes these for Walmart. There's 100 of these tea lights in here. And I have a lot of warmers going, so there it is, right side up, Amare. And, um, yeah, this works for all my tea lights, and I have seven of them going currently during the month of December, and I also have bulb warmers going, but I find myself going through a lot of these because I am. So, got those. They're a little bit under $5 or $4.90 something um, a package for the hundreds. Okay, then I've got, oh, my husband picked this up. You know, he, every year he, he gets into this um, tradition that his family had started um, moons ago. And his extended family, like great aunts and stuff like that, too. And regular aunts and the mother and on and on. And the great-grandmother and blah, blah, blah. So, anyway, they're always into burning the candlestick. I'm trying to think of the other word. Um, not pillars. Um, just candlesticks. Just leave it at that. They always be, burn the Bayberry business on Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. When you buy them by Old Williamsburg or other companies that make the two Bayberry candlesticks, they follow that tradition. So, um, he had a tea light holder. It was like, I don't know, some kind of brass or imitation brass, whatever. He's been using it for years, but it, it's starting to look like crap. So, um, he picked up this in Walmart. It's quite heavy. And it can take a votive right to here. It can take a votive. You see the lipping in there? This can hold a votive, but it can also hold a taper. That's the word I was looking for. A candlestick taper could also fit in the lower section right here. It'll hold it. And then this other groove above it right here will take a votive. Or even a tea light. Either one would fit in there. But it's deep enough to hold the candle stick, the taper. And this was only a dollar. And, and this is quite hefty. If you threw this at somebody, <laughs> you'd bruise them. Um, without a problem. So yeah, it's by mainstays. They're a dollar. I'm sure you could check these out in your own store. Or um, should be on the website. Their mainstays are just a glass candle holder. So I got that. Then, let's see here. What did I get in this bag? Ugh. Let's see. What is this? Okay. Just 
bear with me for a moment, please. All right. How do my sister this one first? I own two of these already, and they're seven dollars and twenty-seven cents. They're they're made for Walmart stores. Um, doesn't say um anything else, you know, um like main stage. It just says Walmart. And this is the Terrazzo Key Light. Now I own two of these and I love them and they got a nice deep well in here. I mean it goes down deep so it can hold at least three wax melts without a problem. It might even hold four if you want to push that much in there and still have room. Um, I own two of these, and I, I really love them, and they're, they're a good ceramic. And the ones I own have blues and browns, oranges and yellows, but this one is different. I don't know if I put this on, if it's going to help any. Let's see. Maybe it is. This here doesn't have the blues or the yellows in it. This is more like sandy browns, a little bit of like rusty oranges, and kind of like um, gray tones on a back background, a white background, I meant to say. And here, these do really, really good. Anywhere you don't have an, a plug in an outlet, you know, for an electric wax warmer and you wish you could put something there, Try one of these tea, tea light ones out from Walmart or somewhere else. But I like these. So now I got it where it's like I'm saying. It's in like these um, different shades of browns. Like dark brown, lighter brown, sandy brown. And, and like these grays with some orange. But I have, the, I have the ones that have the blue in them. So I got one of these. I'm probably going to go back and get a second. Because I like to have things in pairs. But they have lots of them in this particular um, browns and grays with some rusty oranges in this one. I like this one myself. I like the colors, but I like the overall style of this warmer. And like I said, it's got a nice deep well in here. So pick me up one of those. I'll get, I'll get a matching one for it, maybe on the weekend or somewhere into next week. It's not like I have to have it right today, but I will get another one. Then let's see here. I bought this incense burner. I have a couple of them, cheap ones from like the Dollar Tree, a couple cheapies from Walmart. Problem is I can never find them when I'm looking for them because I do have incense that I buy from the Wildberry something or other company. It's a famous company. Um, the Wildberry something it's called. I have many incense, all like in fruity fruity and bakery type scents. I don't go for the, you know, real stinky, stinky smells no, no more than I do in wax. They're just not my thing. But I saw this tonight and it was um, $2. And it's called Mainstays Ash Something Blue. I'm, I'm trying to figure out its letters here. C-T-C-H-R. I have no idea. Nothing comes to mind. But anyway, they're made for Walmart stores. They're made in India. And Ash, that's going to drive me nuts until I figure out what that is. It's Ash. Then it's C-T-C-H-R blue, whatever that means. But this is a nice wood, and then it looks like it has like a plastic tile or some kind of thing that looks like tile, but it is an incense holder. And the first thing that comes to mind is blue jeans. Blue jeans, that's what I think about when I see these colors. The color of blue jeans or some kind of summer watery, um, surfing would surf the colors like of surfing, 
surfboards and, and just surfing in general. But this is a nice quality one. So it's like this, whatever the heck this wood is that's made out, it's really soft wood. It has a real smooth feel to the wood. And then on the top, like I said, this other part, it's like some kind of plastic or maybe not plastic. But it has a real smooth feel, like, like how your kitchen countertops have that real smooth feel. It's, I guess, fastened by glue or something or some kind of a heat process that the two, two different things you know, are pressed to each other. So I got this. I did see green where everything was like um, different shades of green. And I saw two leaf shaped incense holders. One was um, a silver um, with a black etching into it. It was, it was like, a, it's supposed to look like distressed silver or something. And I also seen the same leaf design, long. It was carved like a long leaf, the shape of the leaf. All in here, it was like the, the way the leaf is supposed to look. So, not just straight like this one looks like a ruler. It was actually big, and it was the silver one, and then there was one that was wood. It was a wooden leaf. I seen some other things, but they didn't catch my eye. But this caught my eye from her, like I said, my incense. Okay, then... I picked up this. I thought this was right up my alley. This was a dollar. This is from Better Homes and Gardens. It's the gold finish incense burner. It's really neat. I really like this. And it's lightweight. It's very lightweight. Um, just, and it has some black felt on the bottom here once you remove the rest of the sticker. And it's a nice deep well. And there's a hole right there to hold the stick incense but you can also put the cone the cone incense that you can also put those inside this is really nice and it's lightweight it's very lightweight but it's some kind of I don't know some kind of metal or something it's made out but it was only a buck so got that that way I have two of them for two different areas in my home when I use my incense. But I did pick up some incense, and I was looking at several different kinds. These are the mainstay ones. There's 40 in here for a dollar, and it's in the scent, Dragon's Blood. One buck for these. I couldn't tell you if there's other scents. You'd have to look and see on the website if you're interested, because they were cleaned out, literally cleaned out of incense. And this particular mainstay's value of 40 for a dollar, they only had this scent, and there was only three remaining after I took this. There was no other scents there, so that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know what other scents come in the 40 stick value size for one dollar. So I took the Dragon's Blood. Now they do sell incense from, I think it's called Ganache or Gonesh or something like that. They have those ones, but they're more money. And there's a variety of scents in those too. But you don't get 40 cones. I mean, you don't get 46 for a dollar like you do with the mainstays. And these are dyed. Um, they are dyed red. And there they are in the cellophane baggie that they come in. And... I can smell through this packaging. It smells nice. It's kind of fruity. And 40 for a buck, that's a steal. And they are 10 inches long. Tells you that right there, too. 10 inches long. So, yeah, if you're interested in incense, check out your Walmart. Dollar Tree sells them, but this is a better value than even the Dollar Tree. So, you can get yourself... You know, a couple packs of these or one and get yourself one of these for a dollar. Or you can look and see about other kind of insect warmer um, holders that they have. So, got that. Okay, then. I crashed tonight and I, I broke down and brought, bought this. This is the Black Paper Party Sweet Potato Pie. 12.5 ounce candle 
These are a little bit under $8. They're seven something. And I had the wax melts in this, but I thought I'm going to grab the candle. This is sweet potato, maple, and vanilla bean. It's got a gold brush lid on the top. This label is wrap around. And we got two wicks inside. It's just two wicker. And again, it was 12.5 ounces. And nothing really on the bottom. It's just, you know, everyday generic label. But this smells... Oh my God, this smells just like sweet potato pie. It has that good warm feel to it. I swear I can smell the crust in this too. So I got this because I love anything with sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. I love to eat them. And I love sweet potato pie just the same. And yeah, I crashed in and broke down to buy this candle. So... I hope that some of this stuff from any of the companies, especially the, the black paper bag company, I hope that after the holiday, they reduce these because the store I was in tonight, man, they had a shitload of them. And it would be nice if I can get, you know, two for the price of one or even, you know, mark them even lower yet. And I'll be there to grab some. There's many scents to choose from. But I went with the sweet potato. I had to have it. So got that. Okay, then. Let's see here what I got in this bag. Um, I need to put my glasses on again. Okay, let's see. I got two more Goose Creek wax melts. These are three something. They're just a little bit under $4 a piece. I picked up another one of the Goose Creek white Christmas cake. 2.1 ounces of wax. I picked up a second one of these. I had one and, and I used it, but got another one. And... I think the scent notes for this is supposed to be something like cake, buttercream, and cranberry or something. Yeah, it smells just like white cake mix to me with that buttercream frosting. A little bit of something fruity in there. So you get the six cubes, break off, you know, one or two at a time. Throw it in your warmer, and yeah, it'll be setting up. So I got another one of those. The candle in this in the Walmart I was in tonight, the, um, is it 14 ounces or 14.5 ounces? The, this scent was eliminated. It wasn't there. But plenty of the wax melts in this scent was still there. Then I picked up this one. This is also by Goose Creek. This is the sugar cookie dough. This is 2.1 ounces also, and it's showing dough rolled out and then the cookie cutters cutting into the dough to make the cookies. And, oh, I wanted to mention, this one is like in a weird white. It's almost a gray white. It's not a stark white or cream. It's like a, a, a white with a gray undertone to it, and that's a fabulous picture for that label love it okay and this one here is more like the color of actual sugar cookie dough color it looks just like the color of sugar cookie dough and yeah this one has a sweetness to it too it's sweet it's doughy it smells just like sugar cookies has that cookie crunchy scent to it. And almost something like polarite sugar. Not granulated sugar. More like a powdered sugar. So, never had this one, but got it tonight. There was a couple of these left behind in this particular scent. In fact, there was a lot of Goose Creek melt still left in the Walmart I was in tonight. In Buckhorn. I'm surprised there was that much left. 
Okay, then I got some, let's see here. I picked up two of these because I can't even find it in my Walmart right now. It's gone again. I have to wait for them to restock it. This is the Mainstays Sweet Sugared Lemon. This can be good just by itself. You can mix this with a lot of different other scents. This is lemon, lime, and sugar cane. So I picked up two of these. And it always comes in that lemon yellow color. And like I said, straight up by itself, yeah. Or, mm, oh God, you can mix this with some other citruses and fruits. You can mix this with cookie, like vanilla cookie crunch. You can mix this with a lot of things. This is nice and strong. And it does come off a little bit Mr. Clean-like in a sense. Or a lemon pine salt. It's got that. It's leaning in that way. It's not a Meyer lemon. That's different. Yeah, this is really, really... I don't know. It's bordering between lemon cleaner, but yet... Um, you know when you buy, like, Country Time Lemonade, the powder mix, and you add water to it? You know how that smells so strong before you add the water? Or a, a store brand version, not just, you know, the national brand of lemonade powdered drink mix, how that smells? Yeah, it, it smells like that before you add the water. Or, like I said, it, it also comes off a little Mr. Clean-like, but... It's good and strong, does the job, and, yeah, really like this one. So, got two of those, perfect for a day when you're cleaning or you just want to relax or a real sticky hot day in the summer, which <laughs> we got months to go before we'll see that. That's good scent for that time of the year. Okay, then I picked up one of these because I love this scent. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Berry Lemonade and Melon. This here is 2.5 ounces of wax, 6 cubes. This is lemon, berry, watermelon, and sugar cane. And it's always in this pretty pink color right here. And this smells so good to me. Every time I smell this scent. And I used a lot of this in the past since um, before we went into spring of this year. We are just kind of climbing out of the winter when this hit the shelves. I used a lot of it. I bought a lot and I used it. I'm obsessed with the scent. Yeah, to me it smells like you just sliced open a watermelon. Yeah, it just smells so good. I'm not getting much of the strawberry. I smell just watermelon. It smells so freaking good. And it's a good thrower. And it lasts. So, picked one of those up. Because sometimes I get in this watermelon mood. Even in the dead of winter. <laughs> I'm burning it. Because I like that. I love watermelon. I love strawberry too. But I love watermelon. Okay, then I got... Let's see here. I picked up uh, another one of these because I love this scent too. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Hawaiian Fruit Market. I bought a lot of this and I've used a lot of this one too. Right up there with the uh, flowering pink pineapple tropical fruitiness too. But this is the Hawaiian Fruit Market. This one is the citrus, the coconut, the mango, the papaya, the guava, berry, Tropical, sweet, and vanilla. And there's the label for this one. Love this one too. Nice and juicy. I love tropical fruity scents. That's why I drink so much juice. I, I love fruit juice, let me tell you. Yeah. This one here is kind of in a peachy shade. It's like a peachy pink. And there was the label again. And this one here I could definitely smell. 
They're showing dragon fruit right up there in that corner. And I know what dragon fruit smells like because I love the scent of dragon fruit. I never ate one, but I sure as hell love the, the scent when it's in wax or air spray, you know, aerosols, anything. Anything where the dragon fruit is in it. Yeah, I really like it. It's real juicy in that. But I love all the tropical fruits. Yeah, this is nice and super duper strong. Definitely get that dragon fruit smell. This is a, um, it's been done over and over. This, this scent has been done over and over and over so many times. It always ends up with some other kind of label on here. The picture for the label and the name, what they call it from time to time. Because going back a good amount of years, Walmart had from better homes and gardens it was called just straight up dragon fruit and it was in a fuchsia pinky color dyed wax and i bought a lot of it and that's how i know with this you know i recognize the scent right away i do get some pineapple in here but it's not a juicy sugary over sweet pineapple it's just the regular pineapple in its regular state no extra added sugars, just the way it comes. I smell papaya, I smell mango, I smell guava. Yeah, very tropical and fruity. I even get some of the coconut. Yeah, this is a tr true beach scent. This is a true um, tropical fruit cocktail drink also. Smell, love it. Throws really good. Nine out of ten on this sucker. So then we have <clears throat> this one I also love. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Frosted Pineapple Cupcakes. I bought this so many times. And um, it was made by all three companies. I still can't remember from my prior video when I was saying the barcode starts with a 7. I'm still trying to remember who that was because I'm not feeling too good. The last two days, I, I couldn't sleep at nighttime. I was up, and then when I'm up, I'm feeling tired and worn out. So I hope to God tonight I can get a better sleep. Because the last two nights, hell no. I, I didn't get any sleep right. But um, I'm experiencing headaches here too. Probably from not sleeping right either. But all three companies, Mainstays, Candlelights, I'm not going to say, I meant to say Candlelight with a zero, Rimports with an eight, and I forgot who the seven is again. But anyway, this came in all three pours from all three companies, this particular scent, as well as some others that are in this line, this particular, you know, line that came out spring and summer. But this is the... Frosted Pineapple Cupcakes. This is so freaking good, people. This is citrus, orange, pineapple, sugar cane, vanilla, buttercream, and cupcake. This is a very, um, some kind of a cream color. Some kind of weird cream color it is, but... Yeah, this smells like warm vanilla cupcakes. You can smell that buttercream. But you can get that juicy pina colada mixed with bakery. That's what this is. And, oh, it's so so warm and inviting. Not overly sickeningly sweet either. Just a, just a normal amount of sweetness to all this. Yeah, this is really good. And, like I said, all three companies pour this. And you'll know by looking at... The first number in the barcode. In this case, this one's an eight. So this is rim ports. But yeah, love this. Mm, so good. Got these tropical ones because when I want to give my nose a rest, you know, once a week from everything else that I usually um, am melting, I like to go to a tropical scent or a nice bakery scent. Okay, then I have two of these, I think. Or did I get three of these? Let me look and see. No, I got three of these. Hold on. Yeah, 
I got three of these. They had a lot of Christmas scents by the Better Homes and Gardens Christmas lineup in this Walmart I was in, again in Buckhorn, Pennsylvania. This here um, is the Coconut Snow. This here is Coconut, White Rum, Cinnamon, Vanilla, and Spice. And this is like in a grayish color, Christmassy paper design. Or you see this like on hats, scarves, and socks. That kind of print. And this here, the wax is even very light, light gray. It's a very soft, light gray color. And who poured these? This is candlelight. All of them are candlelight. Okay, let me see when I get this out of here. Because some of them just don't want to come like I tell you. Yeah, this smells... Definitely the tropical coconut, but you get the husk earthiness of this one. You get the coconut, but you get that earthy husky smell. A little bit of a, I'm smelling something that smells like a cookie in here. But very coconutty. I don't know, maybe my mind's playing tricks on me with the with the cookie scent, but I swear I can smell co coconut cookies. Like the washboards. I don't know. Um, the old-fashioned coconut cookie that's like this, and it has the ribbing down the side. When I was growing up, we called them coconut washboards, so I don't know. You know, like the old washboard they wash the clothes on. Yeah, it's nice and strong, and it's it's real pretty, and, and it's tropical. It's tropical with the husk. So I got three of these right here. I'll show you. Got three of those. Light gray wax. It smells very nice. You can mix that with other stuff if you choose to. I love coconut, too. I, I love to eat coconut, but I love the smell of coconut. And I absolutely adore it in um, lotions, body lotions. I also like it, you know, in sunscreen or even sun tanning lotion. I like the smell. Not that I get a sun tan. <laughs> um, I could be out there every day of the week, and I wouldn't come in with a tan. I'd come in red as a lobster since I'm so fair-skinned, but love the smell of it. Love the smell of coconut, but I love to eat coconut. All right, now this one does smell like a cookie. This one here is Better Homes and Gardens in a very light, light, light baby blue sky blue. This is called the Snowball Shortbread Cookies. Now, I had one or two of these, and I went through them. When I seen this, that it was there tonight, and they had loads of it, I got my paws on it. This one here is vanilla, then sugar, buttercream frosting, vanilla cake, sugar cane, and whipped cream. 2.51 ounces, very, um, very light, 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 sky blue, baby blue color on there. And the wax in this one is also gray. It's a gray color wax. And They smell so freaking good. There's a coconut here, but there's that cookie shortbread going on. I can smell some of the buttercream. Vanilla cake. It doesn't smell like cake to me. It smells like cookies, but who knows? Everybody's nose is different. And these are hard to get out, too. Got to work it a little. Yeah, this smells so freaking good. Snowball shortbread cookies with coconut. Mm-hmm. Creamy wax blended set. So, 
I took three of them also. Right there. Three of them. All right, and then I got one of these. Love this scent. I've talked about this in my videos. Um, there's a couple different things that smell like this that's also out from Better Homes and Gardens and Sensational. You'll know when you recognize them. They smell the same. They're dupes for each other. It's just they have different names and pictures on the labels. But this one here is the Whipped the Vanilla and Blackberry. This one is Blackberry, Raspberry, Blueberry, Vanilla, and Cream. And this one here is in a very dark ink blue color. I've had this a number of times, but I picked another one of this up. Yeah, this, there's something really warm in there. It could be maybe the vanilla. This is very dark, 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 inky blue color. Um, it could be the vanilla and the cream together, though they're wrote independently here. It's vanilla, comet, then cream. But, yeah, it's a warm, creamy note, like like, you, like you're like you heating up half and half or just whipping cream. You're heating it, and you get that nice smell from it. And I get the blackberry, blueberry business. A little bit of the raspberry. It's just a warm bakery scent. This smells to me like uh, Better Homes and Gardens, lemon raspberry donuts it has that same family vibe to it and the warm bakery note and then the fruit just like you put fruit filling inside of a donut but it reminds me of another one too and i just can't think of it at the moment but yeah this all they all smell so good i think the other one i'm trying to remember is in the um christmas lineup of better homes and gardens or sensationals it it's there's three of them that's out and and they all smell the same they just gave them different names but they're identical to each other yeah this is a nice good one too and it's a good thrower and it's strong and it lasts it doesn't fade you know in a short amount of time but got that one and then i picked up three of these so there was a boatload of this there too um that's why i'm saying i'm probably going to go back around the weekend time again because i highly doubt it's all going to just disappear in the next you know few days before saturday gets here or maybe friday night it depends um which day we're going to go but this is the better homes and gardens sugared marshmallow and cocoa this is the one I tell everybody it reminds me of putting the dark chocolate syrup in my Coca-Cola. Or if you prefer to put that dark chocolate syrup in your coffee. Now, I'm not talking Hershey syrup in a can. I'm talking these Italian companies that make all these fancy syrups to put in sodas, coffees, hot chocolates, teas, and whatever. You'll see them when you go into gas stations or convenience stores or Wawa's and... Uh, Dutch Boy and Dutch Land and all of them, okay? Turkey Hills included and cheats. So this one here is the marshmallow, sugar cane, vanilla, chocolate, hot cocoa, and white cream. And I love this one, and I use it just by itself. It reminds me of that, that syrup going in my Coca-Cola. Very dark, dark, extra dark chocolate brown color looks just like the color of um a chocolate bar that's like 85 percent cocoa or 90 percent cocoa you know those ones they're way up there on the cocoa and they're in the uh, bittersweet or just bitter family of chocolate but yeah love this one yeah as soon as i smell it it smells just like that syrup it, it smells even how the syrup tastes, too. Yeah, it's a dark chocolate. You do get a little marshmallow sweetness from this. Yeah, it's a sharp chocolate note, which is a little bit of sweetness. So, yep, I grabbed me another three. And like I said, there's plenty. 
when I go back, I'll be grabbing more because it doesn't look like anybody's interested in it except for me. So, more the merrier, right? So, got three more of these. Love it. And then, the last and only thing I bought was another lighter. I always buy these. I find them in Walmart, but I find them in other places. But this is the Bic Easy Rich. Yeah, Easy Rich. Easy Reach. Bic Easy easy reach the ultimate lighter i buy these because it has that little extension on them that i could <clears throat> get in a candle jar that's you know low to the wick or just even lighting my tea lights um this one here it's it says for um perfect it, it says right on here perfect for candles and more helps keep fingers away from the flame 100 percent safety Test it. One lighter. These are a little under $4 a piece in Walmart. They are more in other places. But I got another one of these. And this one has balloons all over it. It has balloons. I just bought one about a week or two ago. And it had um, different kinds of navy and white um, striping. almost looked like a sailboat design. It looked that's what I got from it, you know, the sails on a sailboat. But this tonight, balloons. I found balloons on these. But I love these. These are so easy to push down. You don't have to struggle and fight with them like you do with other ones. And I, and it's not the rolly thing because that rolly thing, you know, starts hurting your thumb after some time. But um, this here, no. Just push down on that and boom, you got your flame. So, got this because I need the lighter. Um... My husband, you know, he buys lighters because he's a smoker. But he buys, you know, that one that I just said, you know, the silver wheel thing, strike it, and this and that. But I can't get down into some of the candle jars at times. I need that little extra that this gives you. And something was on my tongue. But anyway, I like these ones. Love these. And I also buy during the summertime, and you can buy them any time of year. You can go camping whenever the hell you want to go. But the other um, lighters with the lo much longer rod, if I see them in Walmart, like 88 cents, 68 cents, 97 cents, depending, you know, the, the price goes all over, you know. When I see those and there's an abundance of them, I buy usually five or six at a shot. But, um... I usually find them up where the camping stuff is. Um, Bic makes them too in other companies, but they're more expensive. But the ones that are made strictly for Walmart stores, like I said, they're usually under a dollar. And I usually grab five or six of them, but I have to go up into the camping section of the store to find them. I didn't feel like walking over there. So just got this here at the register. Okay. And that's what I have for everybody. And, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're just watching me for the first time and you like this content, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. And, yes, on our way home from Walmart, we stopped at a Burger King about halfway um, home. And I got some Coca-Cola in here. No, they don't have my chocolate syrup at Burger King. But I did get a Coca-Cola. And this will last me for the rest of the evening here before I go to bed. And hopefully I get some good sleep. And until I see you all again, everyone, be good, be kind, keep your spirit up, and stay warm out there. Make sure you protect your skin and your head and your ears and throw a scarf around your neck and put your coat on in. You'll be okay. All right? So long, everyone. Bye-bye.